Fish on, baby. Yo, you can't. <laughs> Alright, so Tony just shaved off a little bit more of uh, the back end here. What we got is he wants me to measure every foot up to four feet. And I made some marks right here, 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 and here so we can lay down the decking and do some measurement so he can do his cuts to lay the deck down. We've got a few minor things to do inside the underneath the deck, but hopefully here pretty soon. We're going to see what this thing's going to look like when it's decked. It's going to be pretty cool. So, I think I got all the the, all the, the, the marks done that he needs. And uh, let's see if we can get some cut, cuts done for the deck. Sit this down and make some measurements and then keep working our way that way. All right, all right. Make sure we get our bed. itching like crazy guys I don't do this normally so I don't deal with fiberglass got our measurements there four foot that way 31 and a half so we're making our measurements for our cuts maybe we can get this cut slap that bad boy right in there folks. let's get it done so we're over here at exclusive i came here to give tony mr fiberglass himself some uh some some help trying to go over what we're going to do to finish up this boat here um we're working on the 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 top deck that's going to have the three and a half to three inch gunnel and uh we're going to sit in place and see how far how far out we want to have our gunnels that goes all the way back to the end of the boat and then uh, go over a few more items of what we're going to do inside here. Make sure we're on the same game plan. That way we can end up putting the, uh, the deck on top and to get ready to do some foam filling. Yeah, while, while Tony's over there doing some work, we want to talk to the other man, Anthony. Anthony, yeah. tell, us, tell us about what you're going to be doing here with the exclusive and all the exciting things you got coming up. So um, I'll be running all the office and supplies, keeping everything uh, inventory in stock, and uh, helping Tony with the shop, uh, managing all the new uh, employees that we've got coming on board, and looking forward to big things here at Exclusive Boat Works. Good deal, man. Good deal. Well, well let's hope the audio end up uh, doing okay with that. We had some, you know, when work's going on in the shop, there's always going to be some noise going on, so. We'll see how this audio end up, end up working. So we're gonna go back over here to where, where Tony's at and uh, trying to finish up cutting up some of these, uh, the, the, the top deck boards. We don't have a, a divider right there in the middle. Did, did, Do you we, we were gonna do it that way, bro, remember? Long ways? Yeah, that way, right on top of the, uh, where they put the battery straight in. 
Yes. You remember that? Yes, I remember. Hey, but the thing is that uh, so we're gonna put two long ways. Yes. And one. Yes. No one in a front like this, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, so we're working on the, the gunnels. He's doing some measurements for our, ha our hatches up front. And then. Uh, so we're, we were starting out with three and a half inch gunnels, but we're going to go with. This is actually. Uh, that's actually three and a half, but we're cutting it back down to a. Uh, three inch gunnel so Tony's doing his measurements so we can get our custom hatches put in there'll be one here one not there and one one next to it that way we can put our batteries in for our trolling motors and in the front we can put an anchor if we want to or some extra hey, bro, storage it's gonna be sweet oh yeah you're, kicking, you're doing a hell of a job Tony it's going a little slow but so you got it all cleaned up in here we still got a a uh, three inch PVC pipe coming in the back so for our um, live well and we're gonna finish he's gonna finish the uh, the PVC back here because this is gonna be where our hose goes for our wash down pump right here and then just a just a few a couple uh, holes drilled here and here that way the foam fields that way have a place to drain back and then we'll have a, a piece pvc pipe coming across that way we have a channel to run wire in between our back hatches but uh definitely definitely coming along all right boys let's see what this thing gonna do Check that out. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what's up, guys. Coming along. Oh yeah. That's what's up right there, Tony. So he's. These are the custom hatches that's gonna. He's gonna be putting in. Gonna be molding them bad boys in. Them hatches are gonna be like super legit, open and closing, dude. Okay. Hell yeah, that's what's up right there, guys. So now what we're gonna do is talk about what's up front, and we're gonna see uh, how we're gonna put the other hatches in the front of the boat. But uh, the decking's coming around really nice. So it looks like we have the center consoles covering right here, and uh, he'll on the other side we'll have a little bit more room to get to my uh, to my gas tank uh, sending unit, and then of course we'll have a hatch here and a hatch there. So looking pretty freaking sick, man. Good job, Tony. So. Definitely, the, the Skinner, the Skinner progress is going, man. It is going. Let me back up a little bit. So. Yeah. All right, so I'm on top of the the, the deck here, and I'm, what I'm trying to do is trying to see what I want to do as far as the center console with room right here on the floor in my leaning post and that's where my my deck would be my live well and all that deck up there so i'm probably going to put two two of my uh hatches like that that will put my batteries in and we'll still have room to put a little stuff around that but two custom hatches there of course the two custom hatches in the back pretty sick so so we're just doing a, a mock fitting of where the center console is going to lie Trying to, and I'm gonna mark it. So I'm just trying to get the look and, and, and see 
Dude, that's gonna be a freaking sick boat, Tony. Yes, sir. The Skinner, dude, exclusive, man. Exclusive boats freaking going straight, 100% custom with this boat. No one's even gonna know this is show water, bro. This ain't a show water no more. It's freaking exclusive Skinner. So, uh, coming to the front of the boat. So, some people try to think that my center console looks too big, but look how wide this boat is. You got room to walk all the way around that. And we're going to have a gunnel, a three inch gunnel on the sides, on both sides. So, plenty of room, bro. Gonna have a live well. Gonna have a, a wash down pump. Gonna have room for my for my uh, anchor coming to the back. Rod holders. We're gonna put a burn bar up top. We're gonna have freaking hatch. We're gonna have a hatch. So that's the boat, guys. That's that's where we're at right now. That's freaking sick, dude. I'm gonna do some more measurement. I'll take a few more pictures, and um, Tony's gonna keep doing his magic, man. <laughs> Gonna keep doing right, his so, magic. What's your name, bud? Daniel. Daniel. Daniel's one of the uh, exclusive guys. He's uh he's mock fitting where the feet's gonna be. So you got plenty of room, right, bro? So yeah, so you got plenty of room right there where he can stand up. Still got plenty of deck up front. So uh, cool. I'm gonna take a picture. Go ahead, and sit back down. We'll take a picture, and uh, we'll figure out which which is the best location, but. I'm digging that right there. All right, so that's where it lies right there. That's where it lies. So that's gonna, so that's gonna sit right there, man. But uh, hatch here, hatch sideways, hatch sideways. Center console is not too big, guys. Plenty of fishing room to get around the boat. Plenty of deck. A two-man tournament fishing boat right here, dude. Plenty of room. Me and my fishing partner is going to kill it. Or take the family, you know, son for the evening, daughter, wife, whatever. So that's where it's at, guys. We'll let Tony put in those custom hatches. And... We'll see some more progress.